All right, so let's take a look at finding the derivative of a function using the quotient rule. So the quotient rule is if we take the derivative of f over g with respect to x, here's our quotient. So the quotient rule is the derivative of the numerator, so that's f prime times the denominator, g, minus the derivative of the denominator, g prime, times the numerator. And that's all over the denominator squared. All right, so let's take a look at some examples. And these examples are going to involve trig functions. So I have f of x equals cosine x over sine x plus 1. So the derivative, so f prime of x is going to be the derivative of the numerator. So the derivative of cosine is equal to negative sine x. So it's the derivative of the numerator times the denominator, so times sine x plus 1 minus the derivative of the denominator, so the derivative of sine x is cosine x, and then the derivative of 1 is just 0, so here's the derivative of the denominator, and then that's times the numerator, so times cosine x, and that's all over the denominator squared. All right. So now, let's see if we can simplify this a little bit. So here I'm going to distribute the negative sign. So I get f prime x equals negative sine squared x minus, and then negative sine x times 1 is minus sine x minus, and then cosine x times cosine x is cosine squared x, and that's all over uh, the denominator I'm sorry, that's just sine x, the denominator squared. All right, so let's look at this. <clears throat> All right, so notice we have a minus here, here, and here. So let's factor out a negative. So f prime of x equals negative sine squared x plus sine x plus cosine squared x over sine x plus 1, all of that squared. So you see here how we have sine squared x plus cosine squared x. Well, sine squared plus cosine squared is just 1. So we get f prime x equals negative sine x. That's this sine x here. And then sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. And that's all over sine x plus 1 squared. All right. So you see this sine x plus 1 and one of these sine x plus 1s will cancel. And that squared is now to the first power. And so we're left with negative 1 over 
sine x plus 1. And here's our answer. All right. Let's take a look at one more. All right, we've got f of x equals tangent x over 1 plus secant x. So f prime x is equal to the derivative of the numerator. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared times the denominator. So it's the derivative of the numerator times the denominator. minus the derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. So this right here is the derivative of the, of the denominator times the numerator. And that's all over the denominator squared. All right, so let's let's see about simplifying this a little bit. So I'm going to distribute the secant squared. So I get f prime x equals secant squared x plus secant cubed x minus secant x times and then tangent x times tangent x is tangent squared x and that's over 1 plus secant x squared All right, so let's see. We can, looks like we can factor out a secant x. So f prime x is equal to secant x times, and then if we factor us, when we factor the secant x out, we're left with secant x plus secant squared x minus tangent squared x and that's all over 1 plus plus secant x squared all right so let's see what we have here. Well, let's look at this secant squared minus tangent squared. So you remember the, the property? There's a property that says 1 plus tangent squared x equals secant squared x. And if I subtract tangent squared both sides, I get 1 equals secant squared x minus tangent squared x. And so you see I have that secant squared x minus tangent squared x. So this part right here is just equal to 1. Okay. Let me erase this. All right, so I get f prime x equals secant x times secant x plus 1. And there's the 1 right here. And that's all over 1 plus secant x squared. All right, 
So now you can see here we have secant x plus 1 and 1 plus secant x. This is the same thing. We can write this as 1 plus secant x. So these cancel and I'm left with the exponent of 1 right here. And so I get f prime x equals secant x over 1 plus secant x. And this is our answer. So I hope this video helped. Uh, I hope you'll check out my other videos. And thanks.